So in our network sniffer tutorial, we right now want to get the protocol. So we'll write a separate function for it, get protocol, and we want to get the protocol number that we will have it. And first of all, we want to open this file that we have created with all the protocols with the list of uh, the protocols that exist. So protocol mm, not file, not number, it's a file, protocol file equals to open, we specify the name of our mm, file and what we want to do, we want to read it. Well, we, we can write it, but this is what we actually want to do. And then we want to read all this data and let's create another variable protocol data that will take from the protocol file and read everything. And right now we want to actually extract this mm, the name of the protocol. And we will use regular expressions in Python. In order to use regular expressions, we need to import a module, one more, which is called RE. And here we type like that RE dot find all, which will find our pattern. We want to specify uh, what, what is our pat pattern and let's make it the raw string. So we'll have, mm, first of all, we said that we had uh, a new line because why we need a new line preceding this number? Because the numbers can be anywhere. So if we find six, it will find six. It will read it until uh, the next new line. And actually four hop by hop option is not a valid protocol. So it's not the full name of this protocol, so it's not even the sixth one, because the sixth one is DCP. So specify that we have um, a new line, and then we can we want to concatenate with the protocol number. Uh, protocol number, we have it as an integer type, but we want to make it a string, so type it like that, and concatenate it with the rest, so we'll have this space after the number, and then we'll have any um, any character, but in Python you should specify it like that with a question mark and colon, and specify that we'll have one or more, and again search for a new line, and here specify the string, this is our protocol data which we have read from the file. And then what we'll get as an output will be all this stuff with the new lines. So we actually want to get rid of the new lines like backslash n and of, of the number that we have. And let's say if we have found, because we can uh, there can be an invalid, for instance, 150, there is no such protocol set. So let's just see if our function return, returns anything. So if, if protocol, then protocol equals to the, the first element that we will find, because actually it returns a tuple and we'll find, basically should be like that, that we'll find a single element and we want to take just just this string and not the tuple and then what we want to do is to replace so it be protocol replace we want to replace our new lines with nothing and we also want to replace one more thing we are somehow deleting this information from our string we want to replace our protocol number, so we will search for the 
protocol number and uh, replace it with nothing. And also we have um, will remain with um, one white space in front of our strings. So we'll get rid of new lines of this number and then a space will remain. We can use a function from Python which is called lstrip. Left, it just takes out the last, the first white spaces, no matter how many of those are there. And then we want to return our protocol. And we can also type an else and return a string that will say that no such protocol was found. Well, and this is it actually and we know that our protocol in our header should be here like this is the um, this is the sixth I guess the the seventh the seventh element so let's get this protocol number and extract it from the Unpacked data. The next field that we have is header checksum. We'll just extract this value. We won't compute our own checksum and then compare whether the packet that we have received is correct or not. So that's why I just create a variable checksum and extract because this is going to be the eighth element. So in the last We'll stop it right now, and in the last part I will show you um, just how to extract the source IP address and the destination IP address, and we will all we will format it so that we will get all this information nice on the screen.